transmitter screen. All right, from your transmitter screen, you're gonna click this button. All right. So before we bind, there's a few things we need to do. It won't transmit any. So you need these switches to arm the to arm the drone. So to ar arming the drone, basically what that does is it tells the drone that it's okay to fly. So it's like your kill switch. So and you also need a switch for flight modes, which tell you. It'll stabilize itself, it'll go in one direction, or like things like that. So the first thing we need to do is we're gonna go here, right? And we're gonna add a new switch. So as you can see, I have my switches added, but I'll just add another one. So this is your input. So it's gonna read the input from one of these switches. So you're gonna go here. I'm just gonna name this input, I'm just gonna name it B, right? We're gonna go down, and our source is gonna be, let's say we want this switch. So it's a switch C. So you just flip the switch and it'll give you the source. Then we're going to click exit and exit again. Then we're going to click page one more time, so we're going to we're going to page six. So this is your mixer. So this determines what channels get transmitted. So along with your four base channels, which control the drone, you like throttle, yaw, pitch, roll, you have your switch channels, your auxiliary channels. So this receiver can only handle eight. So I'll go over that in binding. But this mix name, we're just going to name it A. And the source is going to be what you named your your source in your input tab. All right. So when we go here, I'm going to say source. It's going to be switch C. All right. I'm going to click exit. Exit again. And so you're ready, you're set up to bind. So what we want to do now is we're going to go here. We're going to click page again, or this middle button. And you can click page. And you're going to scroll down. So there's going to be this thing that says. It's gonna say internal. It's gonna say internal RF. So you, normally the mode will be D16. So you want to click that, right? It'll normally be set like this. You want to click that. You want to change it to D8, right? And then you scroll back down, and you're gonna click bind, right? And it'll make this noise. So that's how you know it's in bind mode. So if you click exit, it'll exit bind mode. So on the drone, I'm not gonna do it again because this one's already bound. You're gonna plug this. You're gonna have someone plug this in for you. And at the same time, you're going to click this button with a pen or a screwdriver because you can't really get to it with your finger. This is really small. Actually, you can. But you, you want to click this button down and plug it in at the same time while this is in bind mode. And then it will bind. Then you want to turn the drone off and turn your transmitter off and turn them both back on. So then, in order to set up all your switchers, you're going to go into beta flight, which we need a laptop for. You don't want to plug your... Um, battery in at the same time that you plug your USB in unless you're on the motor testing tab. So we're going to go into beta flight. All right. And it's going to open this and we go to dev.tty USB modem 1421 or you can click auto connect and it'll connect you automatically. So it shows up, right? Like it's doing its thing. So we're going to go into our transmitter thing. So let me blow this up. It just has a big thing. It's called the receiver tab. And you can check to make sure everything works. So throttle. So when I move the throttle, this goes up. Yaw. When I move the yaw, that does it. And you can see the preview, it'll show, right? Pitch and roll. Now to test if our switches are working, we can see auxiliary one, auxiliary two, and auxiliary three. So this is just a test and make sure everything here works. If something is wrong, you could fix that in the channel mapping. I'll get to that a little bit later. So now we go to modes. So you can add a mode. So what a mode does is when I flip, so for example, when I flip this switch, it turns angle mode on. When I flip this switch. And you set that up yesterday. Anyway. Yes. Right. When I flip this switch, it arms the quad. So you can do any number of things. Um, you can set up things like air mode, camera control, pre-arm, all these things. Uh, but the only two switches you guys are going to need are these two. I, now, can you just show, like, how did you say uh, arm? Can so you hit add range? Uh, yeah. So I'm not going to delete the, or actually, right. I can't I can delete it because I have to save it for the change to be input. So if I say add range, it's set to auto. So what I'll just do is I'll just flick this switch, and then I'll move this to where I want it. So I want the switch to be all the way down. So if I move it up, I know it's over here. And if I move it down, it's over here. So I want to move this yellow slider. All right? You get that? So then, is that good where it is? Yeah, that's fine where it is. So there's a few other things in beta flight, but really this is all you need to set up. 
theoretically, uh, these should be set up and ready to go, but when I did it yesterday, they weren't. So um, we'll just leave that as is. Um, so now we unplug. So first, you can just unplug, but it's good practice to click disconnect. Set. Now we're going to plug this battery in. Okay. And we're going to, this arm switch is on, and we're in angle mode. And remember, if you arm with your throttle up, it will not arm. So put your throttle all the way down, and then arm, and it flies. And it's hard to fly in a little tiny area like that, but you get that. The other thing you wanna make sure you do is center all your trims. So move it to an extreme, and then move it all the way back, and it'll center, it'll vibrate. 